An Earth Pulse Rift. We may be able to get out from there. Arthur, there's something I'd like to speak to you about. Alone. <laughs> Two souls possessing powerful resonance and free of malevolence. These must be sacrificed on the Scarlet Knight. Ah, yes. The ceremony to resurrect Denominat. You read my book. I haven't fully mastered the ancient tongue yet, but I have read your notes. You wrote that if Inominat is resurrected, we can make a world free of demons. Seven years ago, a soul with strong resonance, my own unborn son, was sacrificed for that purpose. Now, Inominat's resurrection is half complete. Because of that, Everyone's resonance has grown stronger, enabling them to see demons. Yes. That's the truth behind the opening. So, if one more person is sacrificed... Inominat's resurrection will be complete, and his power will spur the creation of many new exorcists. And there is another Scarlet Knight, very soon. Arthur, I must ask. Love, he said. Can't I be the sacrifice? <laughs> Tell me, why do you think that birds fly? I think that birds fly because they must. Why else would they have wings if not to embrace the sky? I have wings too, weak as they are. That's why I must fly, now! If we miss this Scarlet Knight, the next won't be for another three years. By then, I won't be alive. Luffy said, why would you say such a thing? The Twelve-Year Sickness. That's the name of my disease. So you know. I'm not afraid of being sick. But I don't want to just be a burden on everyone until I die. I couldn't take it. Your wings are your will. And they are strong. Lars. Please. You can't tell Velvet about this. I promise. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Don't talk to me about will! About wings! Both of you! Together! You! You betrayed me! Oh, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche! Just the way she taught me! No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. Shut up! He fell further than this back at the shrine. I will have my revenge. <laughs> revenge for Lafayette! Lafayette knew so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up! It's a lie! A dirty lie! All of it! It's all their lies! And I believe it! I died! 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 Get out of my way, you disgusting monster! What is this thing? An amalgamation of multiple demons? It doesn't matter what it is! I'll devour it until it's dead! Finish! No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Hard to deflect! Make for pain! Thermal Fuhrer! Devour! Really up! Wounds that won't shield! Hard to deflect! Make for pay! Take that! Devour! Take that! Get down! Black assault! Take that! Get down! Black assault! One, two! Back. No mercy! Wounds that won't shield! Hard to deflect! Make for pay! Take that! Devour! Jack coming! In three no more! Four, five! Thermal Fury! Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Move it, what? What? Banishing thunder! Where are we from? that! Devour! Thermal Fury! Don't lose it! Don't worry, don't back up! Let me go! No escape! Huh. Hey, you guys! 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 Hey, Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Black Too ball. slow! Sword and Easy. Dragon! You're wide Black open! Ball. Die or be Sword killed! Dragon. Die! Double Double ball. Ball. You're wide open! Burn! Die! Black die! Die! Sword and Dragon! Double haze! Eat Black it! Black Wolf! Let's go the ball. Burst. Here's release! You broke me! Here's your justice! Fight in order! Win! is the true face of my sister. <sighs> she hates, resents, devours, and kills. She tramples people, cities, everything, living only by her emotions. What an ugly, tainted soul. It's not like that! Nothing you say will matter. She knows. She knows if it's the truth. He's right. Just think. Everything I did was baseless. Arrogant. And even so, I still... You hurt so many innocent people, didn't you? More than I can count. I devoured and killed so many. Without even knowing Arthur's true aims. I destroyed people. I destroyed whole towns. And worse yet, you didn't even show mercy to your own sister's reincarnation. I... hate her! And despite all of that, I still love you, Velvet. 
That's why I chose to become a sacrifice for you, sister. But think, if you try to stop the resurrection, wouldn't my death be all for nothing? To tell you the truth, I was terrified of dying. It was so dark. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You'll accept it then? That everything you've done up until this point, all of it. Yes, it was all for nothing and for no one. I hurt so many people, all for no reason. I'm a monster. If you've accepted it, you have to atone for your sins. Once I eat the final two malevolences inside you, I'll fully awaken. Give them to me. Give me your hatred, your despair. If you do, I can cleanse this world of all its pain. I had hoped that you could live in a world without pain and sadness. But you're a monster now. You don't belong there. <sighs> Velvet! Let me go. I have to go. No! If you don't... I'll die too for no reason. No! A twisted monster like me doesn't deserve to live. Don't you understand? You're the reincarnation of the first sacrifice. Part of me. Don't worry. I'll devour you too. Luffy ah! set, tell this self-absorbed idiot what she needs to hear! Please, let me go. Will you stop whining? Huh? No, I don't understand! You snap at people! You're scary! You... you tried to eat me! But... You're also kind! And you're filled with life! I don't understand a single thing about you! Huh? But you gave me a name when I was a number! You gave me that compass! You taught me what it meant to be alive! That's why I care about you, Velvet! I'll protect you for my own sake! Fee... I don't care if you're malevolent or if it was pointless! If the world says it's a mistake to love you, I'll fight the whole world! I don't care how pain you feel! It doesn't matter! A world without you, Velvet! Is the one thing I couldn't bear! Let me go! My hand will... Eat my arm! I don't care! Just leave me the other one! I needed to clobber the jerk who made my velvet cry! I... I loved them all. I loved Luffy... and Zelika... Arthur... everyone... to have it all stolen from me. Why them? Why not me? Your despair! How is it gone? <laughs> A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. I finally understand how you felt. 
But the only one I can fight for is myself. That's good enough. That's proof that you are truly alive. How many times do you plan to destroy and rebuild your own heart, Magilu? We're on 107. Who was it 108? I lost count. Not that I really care. Pathetic fool. Did I not tell you it would require an iron will as indomitable as the very trees that live and die across millennia? <laughs> like you, I suppose. Or that boy over there. <laughs> that is the foundation of an ideal world. One free from man's sins. <laughs> An ideal world, huh? You, kid. The boy who was your companion, Laffy said. He's alive. Chasing a terrifying demon girl, he has learned the immensity of the seas and weathered the dry wastes of the land. Those people, they're different from us. Despite the pain, the anguish, they embrace the life they've been given. They live undaunted by the ugliness of the world! <gasps> so you're doing this all for them? Is that what this is? <laughs> Not even close. They aggravate me to my wit's end. <laughs> like stabs in the chest, over and over and over. And that's exactly why. That's why. I intend to see how all of this ends. I won't be satisfied until I do. Words bereft of meaning. You truly are my god. Greatest failure. Gosh, funny just how little I care. No, please. <laughs> Let me guess. We came at a good time? You're late. Because of you, I had to have a really boring conversation. So, you came face to face with Inominat. If so, then you must know that your quest for revenge is utterly meaningless. Yeah, I did. I know why sadness fills the world, and I know how deep are the burdens of sin. I tried to abandon my memories of Arthur and Laffy, to cut myself off from it all, and end this tragedy. It's... it's what they would have wanted. Exactly. You do well to know your place. But that's exactly why I can't forgive them. Not Artorius, not Inominat. I know my heart is ugly and full of contradictions, but those days we spent together in familial warmth, 
They're proof that I, that all of us, were truly alive. That's why, no matter how hard, no matter how sad it gets, I will take my vengeance to the very end! Velvet! Don't be a fool! Just give up and die like you ought! It is your destiny to wallow in despair! You take my family, turn me into a monster, and you want my soul, too? Now who's being the fool? Remember this well. The Lord of Calamity never gives up, not even in the face of death. Have you no shame for your sins, you unholy monster? <laughs> Let me in on this. I lost a bet and I've got some anger to work out. You sure you can fight in your condition? Who do you think I am? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I am the dastardly witch Magi Lu, scourge of self-righteous exorcists! Now face the wrath of Magi Lu Maven! Fools! All of you! Hear me! Everyone, sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is our way of saying we trust you. No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Cut! Leave the way! Artorius and you know me not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that. The annals of history are stained with evil people like you. You spread havoc and destruction all to satisfy your own ends. A dark font of malevolence. You're a demon lord, the irredeemable embodiment of sin! The Lord of Calamity. It is the Exorcist's duty to destroy you! You talk a lot. How about you keep talking and tell us where Ifrid is? You'll regret this. I can feel Inominot! He's coming! We can fight here no longer! Bienfu, close the rift! 
I can't! Come forth! <laughs> Carelessness will get you killed. Zavid! <sighs> you ruined the moment. Huh? Don't you mean... Thanks for saving us, Savid. You're my hero and role model. Thank you for saving us, Savid. Where exactly are we now? We're in an abbey facility on Hexen Isle. I heard Melchior was in charge here, so I snuck in. I hadn't expected an extra-dimensional space. Is there a way out? There is now, that I busted my way in. Let's head outside. We can talk then. Uh... Who's that? A friend. His name is Number One. Hey, wanna come with us? If you stay here alone, a dragon might get you. I bet you wouldn't like that. Yeah, that sounds scary. Great! Come on, kid. What are you doing? We can't leave him like this. I'll get him a vessel, somehow. <sighs> Do what you like. <laughs>